This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate a query that uses IF, concatenation, and the is null function. This is a demonstration of the example that is in Tutorial 5 of your textbook. This demonstration assumes that you have watched and or have a familiarity with the IF, concatenation, and is null function. Before you, you see the company table. In the company table, some of the company names are not filled in, but all of the table has first names and last names filled in. So we go to the design screen, and we want to have a new field created that will show either the company name, or if there is no company name, then the contact person's name. Now when we run it, so it will be simple, I'm going to turn off several of the fields, turn off their show boxes. So that we'll just see customer ID, the company name, first name, last name, and the new field that we're going to create. On this new field, we're going to create it using the build box. This build box sometimes is a help and sometimes can be quite complicated. All right, what we're going to do is give our new column, our new field, a name. So I type it in at the top. After that name, we're going to fill in the operation. So we're going to start with IF. IF is a built-in function, so I go down below in the first column, double-click functions click built-in, and in the second two columns come the functions. Now IF is a program flow function, but certainly if you didn't remember that, you could have scrolled down this column on the right and chosen it off the list. So when I click program flow, there is the IF that comes up. I click IF, and I can either paste it or, as I just did, double-click to put it up here. Here are the parts that we need to fill in. The first part, the first EXPR in front of the IF we don't need, so we're going to delete that out. The other three parts we really do need. So after the IF we have our condition, and then after the condition the true part and the false part. So what we're going to check is if our company name is null, or if our company name is blank, then what do we want to do? And if our company name is not blank, what do we want it to do? So in the expression part, to check for whether the company name is blank, we're going to put the is null function. So I type in is null, and the argument for is null is going to be company. So we're saying, if the company name is blank, now what do we want to do if it's blank? What do we want to do if it's not blank? Now if it's not blank in the customer name, we want to just put that company name. So all we put in is the field name company. So we're saying, if it isn't blank, put in the company name. Now what's the true part? The true part is if it is blank. If it is blank, what we want to put in is the person's first name and the last name. And we want to put it in the order of last name, comma, first name. So we're going to type in the last name field, concatenate that with a comma and a blank, and concatenate that with the first name field. So looking at it again, our new field is going to be called customer. If the company name is blank, then put in the customer column the last name, a comma, the first name. And if it's not blank, put in the company name. When we run our query, we can see that for the companies, 
where the name is blank, the, we see the actual name of the customer representative of that company or the contact person. When the company name is filled in, as is Grand Rapids Engineering Department, instead of the contact person's name, we see the company name. So what we were saying is, if the company name is blank, then fill in our contact person's name. If the company name is not blank, then fill in the company name. And as you can see, this worked all the way down. So once again, taking a look at our expression, we have the name of the new field, a colon, the if, checking whether the company name is blank, and if it is, put in the last name, comma, first name, and if it's not, put in the company name.